So I just wanted to address something. Um, I did a video yesterday where I was reading passages from my recent book, Our Soul's Journey Trilogy. Um, and I noticed my eyes were incredibly tired. Now, I've had someone say that to me before, um, a gifted um, tarot reader. She'd seen, seen my videos in the past and she said it, it's heartbreaking for her to want a witness because she can see sort of how tired and exhausted I am. Um, and I never really take time to recognize it really. I tend to just keep pushing it forward, setting more goals, um, achieving more milestones. And it, 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 it's important for all of us to recognize how hard we push ourselves. You know, it's, 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 it's good to have goals and I think it's good to have dreams and it's good to go after things, but I think we also need to take care of ourselves. We have to prioritize ourselves all the time, you know. It's, 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 I've always been like, we're not robots. You can't just keep pushing and pushing and pushing. You, we didn't know when to rest, when to slow down, when to stop. Um, a bit frustrating for me because I have so many sort of ideas. So the idea of stopping is quite frustrating, but I'm aware that I need to, I really need to, to slow down an awful lot right now. Um, and just recover and heal. Because, you know, well, there's been so many achievements along the way. It's also been quite um, extreme. So, you know, I've got ideas. I've got, I've, what I'm going to still do, though, I'm still going to read passages from the book because I want to start doing something like that. Um, I recently finished my podcast. There's 30 episodes. I decided that's come to an end. But I might read snippets from the book and create a podcast from that. Um, I've come up with a couple, couple of concepts for that that I might actually work, work on. It won't be too excessive, it won't be draining, it'll just be literally me reading, which nothing exhausting about that. But another book coming out next year, but I already wrote half of it, so that'll conclude yet another trilogy um, of my Father's Daughter series. So by this time next year, there should be two trilogies, which is quite remarkable when you think about it, you know, six years of writing and say like three trilogies concluded. Um, which is then eight books because you've got the three books to make a trilogy and then you've got the conclusive trilogy, the book all in one, the post series. That's, that's quite great. And then I've got audio books to write. So there's things to do in that direction, but it's like learning to pace it rather than push it. But there's something that's actually bothered me an awful lot. It's been bothering me for a, a long, long time. And that's the devaluation of, of our work, you know, especially with authors, writers, um, Really in any field, I think people are happy to spend in certain directions, but they're not prepared to invest in others, you know, and it's like, I, I see the disparity and, and, and it doesn't make sense because even I've been attuned to paying a certain amount for a book and then the, the concept of paying more doesn't make sense. It doesn't seem fair and it doesn't seem right. Um, but you think, wait, why, why do I think like that? Well, how, how has that been normalized? Um, it doesn't make sense to me at all. You know, well, video games are incredibly expensive, so we pay for that. But then you think, if it's a healing book, what self-development, a guide on spirituality, because it's a book, it's not considered valuable enough to be priced significantly. But yet, you could do, um, you could do therapy sessions, you could do tours, you could do public speaking, you could do all sorts of things and make a vast amount of money per session. Per session. That's an awful lot more than any book. Uh, and that doesn't make sense because everything is in the book. So why would the value be so low? Um, and, and it's that trend setting, it's that following the crowd, the herd, you know, what's typical, let's follow that, we don't want to go outside of that. But the way I see it is, you can buy one great book. Now, I'm not saying mine's the great book, but what I'm saying is you can pay and invest in a great book, or you can buy 10 average books. Um, they're okay. They've got good information in them. Didn't really change your life. Didn't really instigate too much um, development. But it felt more, it felt worth it. It felt better value because you've got a lot of them, but now they're just clogging up a bookcase. Or maybe you invest in something that's actually deep and meaningful. Um, so like my book, I've just rich, literally gone through all my books and increased the prices because I don't care anymore whether they sell or they don't sell. Um, I hold myself to a high standard. They will either sell at the price that I want or they won't ever get read. Um, and I've made peace with that. So they either get read in my lifetime or they don't. That's up to people whether they want to invest in themselves enough or 
whether they believe in, in my work or maybe people read it beyond my lifetime you know I've made peace with that so this book here it's, it's actually quite huge it's like 800 and something pages it's not like a small book this is all three books into one I then had to do some of the fonts and the spacing just to fit it all in um, it covers absolutely everything this this I am incredibly proud of and I'm more proud than I thought I would be because each book I think is powerful on their own but you combine them all together and, and I can see the absolute power in it you've got the first section of the book is about spirituality um, and that will help give people confirmation and even open their minds to things. You know, maybe things you weren't noticing or recognising before, but once your eyes are open, you can't close them again. It's just impossible. You can't unsee what's been seen. Um, and then after that, we got it goes on to the journey of healing yourself. Um, and there's so many layers to this. It even go, you know, then it goes into sort of society, our lifestyles. Um, the latest book goes into cancel culture, the way the news media harass and hound people for headlines. And um, there's just so many facets to it that I think it just covers the whole spectrum of life. Um, even children, you know, how we raise our children. So this, this is why I've called it a spiritual and life Bible because that's literally what it is. And although I set the price lower to begin with, it was it didn't feel right. It didn't feel right. I thought this is this is so much in one. It's up to people if they really, really um, want to invest in themselves or not. Because something else played on my mind. I'm not greedy, so it might seem greedy, but it's not. It's me just setting a standard, saying I'm, I'm, I'm worth this. I've put the past five years, five, six years into all the stuff I've created with little reward so far. And it's kind of like I'm exhausted. I need rest. So I've been working like crazy, working traditional jobs. I've been doing this on the side. I've been trying to, I've been building. I'm trying to help humanity. I'm trying to help repair people's lives their perspective on life um and i see the value in myself for it but it's more let's set the trend now it's more like that it's let's set the trend to start lifting ourselves up now we, we can't keep expecting everybody just to give for us for free because that's the problem someone needs help um you want to help them but they think because they're in a situation where they need help then it, then it should be free it's a really strange mindset um, and it's like no you can't act like you're in poverty and you're struggling and you can't afford something that okay may seemingly be expensive but you're happy to spend the money in other areas whether it's takeaway whether it's clothes and outfits that are unnecessary you know whether it's days out that you just you can miss one day you know there's, there's so many things we spend money on you know all of us so it, it comes down to how much do you really want to read it um, and you're not going to read it any other way you know um, so it's, you either invest or you don't invest. And like I said, you can go and buy other books. You can go and do other things. You can go and have therapy sessions. You can go and do all that. But I don't know if it's really going to open your mind as much as the one I've created. And it reaches that point where I'm not to blame. And, it's, and it was difficult for me at first to, to get my head around that concept. Because I do feel... Not say guilty, but I feel like... Um, I should make myself available at the lowest level so I've had to help more people. So by raising the bar, I feel like I'm letting some people down. But then I had to I had to process that for a bit and then think, wait a minute, if someone wants it, they'll get it. They'll get it. Even if it's not now, it'll be later. You know, they'll get it when they need to get it and they'll find a way. Um, like I said, we spend money in so many different directions, but we're not prepared to invest in ourselves. And that bothers me a lot. And the value of knowledge, healing, books, you know, it's been so, it's been, it's been lowered to the point of, um, it's ridiculous. It's got to the point where a book's the price of a colouring book. You know, when I start putting things in perspective that way, it bothers me immensely. Um, so we've got to value ourselves more. But, you know, I'm not someone to self-promote really. I don't like doing self-promotions. I absolutely hate it. I despise it. I'd rather put my time and energy elsewhere because um, that's important where do we put our time and energy what's it was important to us um, it's for instance i was studying university course but i stopped and finished and just focused on my book in, in less than the time it would take to do a, a, even just one course I, could, I wrote a whole book you know um so where we put our time and energy matters i didn't do overtime recently there was overtime double time pay at work people thought i was crazy but yeah i created the, I, I molded all three books into one big trilogy book and i would say that was more meaningful and purposeful than some extra money at work um again again that's where we put our money isn't it like i've invested actual money i've lost into creating a book 
So I've took a, a financial loss. But again, that's the choices we make. Where we, where we earn our money and where we spend it is really up to us. Um, so yeah, the concept of my book and the price of it is going to be like, well, that's it. it's going to alienate a lot of people, especially at first. Um, but yeah, so there's, that's, that's really the main focus is of my thought process at the moment. Um, but I, like I said, I need a rest now. It's been a huge upheaval. The whole period of my life has been crazy. Um, a lot going on all at once. But it, it shows we can achieve an awful lot, but we need to know when to slow down. I think we can't go 100 mile an hour all the time. We'll have a breakdown. Um, but it's all right to take time out on your own as well. You know, we don't necessarily need people, but I think it's nice to have someone. Uh, and that's the next thing I'm looking forward to, really, is to like, build my personal life up now that I've achieved my personal accomplishments. Um, but yeah, I think we need to start valuing ourselves more and seeing the value in others rather than expect everything for free. Because uh, we spend money in silly places. I mean, I even for me recently, I mean, I'd say for the past few months, it's been not this month because I've learned the lesson, but before that I was having maybe takeaways every other week. Every other day, I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. I live alone. I can't be bothered to cook sometimes. And, it, oh, let's just get this. You don't realise the cost of all that. Um, but again, you know, we can, by saving, we can invest in something else. And that's what I'm saying about books. It's like, why is the price of a book so low? And it's because so many exist. And so many are prepared to sell it cheap. It, it bothers me. You know, you can buy a digital camera. Let's say spend £500 on that. You buy a games console, it's a £500 investment. You buy a video game, maybe it's £60, £70. Um, subscription services all over the place you know satellite tv maybe pay 80 pound a month for that you know there's all these fees we spend money on but we expect a book for five pounds um you buy a you buy an ebook you expect it for 99 pence and that's because that's how they've set their prices i think it's absolutely bizarre um and i think only when you're in it you notice it because you think wait a minute i've, I've spent an awful lot of my time writing this that i didn't have to do um and more about I've given away my soul, really, onto paper. That's really what's happened. I thought I shared my journey. But the reason it all came to be was really me just looking at people, thinking some people don't have role models. I've noticed this. They don't have someone to help them, to inspire them, to really show them how to be strong on your own. You know, yeah, it's hard to find that for some people. And I thought, well, okay, I'm going to show how... It was a challenge because it was like, do I really want to give parts of me away? It's almost like reveal my secrets. Do I really want to show why I'm strong, how I'm strong, how I think about things? Because that makes me unique. Um, like I know I'm resilient. Do I want to give that up so freely? And I thought, yeah, yeah, I do. If it's going to help people, I want to show them how I overcome it and why I think certain things. And hopefully it helps them. But it's been absolutely exhausting along the way because I've shown my vulnerabilities as well as my strengths. Um, but it also that opens up other paradigms of thought. You know, you start on one di one direction and you can't help but think about something else and then it spirals into more topics and more revelations, really. Um, so the, I think the book's profound. Um, I wouldn't list it high if I thought people were going to be regretful of it. And I think that's it's worth considering that, you know. I've recently been spending more on video games that I didn't think I'd ever spend for single games, but I don't regret the purchases, you know. I think when something is worth it you sort of like you'll be proud of it in your collection like for me personally having my book in my collection even like this it's like a world this is cool like i absolutely love it myself so it's like i'm seeing the value in it because it like means an awful lot to me and it's so many topics i'm looking through it even just now if i just skim through i'm like this is just it's, it covers so much of life and covers so much of spirituality that i just it will change and help people and that's the whole point, really, isn't it? So, it's worth more than a chocolate bar. It's worth more. It's worth more, in my opinion. It's worth more than a video game. A video game will entertain you for a month at best, maybe a couple of months. But this book can change your life for forever, you know. Um, and that's where I see the value in it. It's not a case of oh, I've read it and it's took me maybe fifteen, twenty hours because there's a lot of content. But it's the fact that you go back to it time and time again. There'll be certain topics that stand out, and you think, oh, I want to go and read that again. Um. And you maybe keep it as a little guidebook, a little handbook, and it'll help whenever you have to self-doubt or you're sort of thinking something else. Or maybe you're seeing certain signs. Maybe you start your spiritual journey and you're in, you're in a certain stage of it, but you ain't on the full stage where I'm at or where Christopher's at. Um, but maybe maybe later on you get towards those stages, you go and read another chapter again, and, it, and, it, and it's more confirmation of what you're experiencing and you realise there's more to it than you, than you realised. Um, 
But yeah, anyway, this was a little, uh, supposed to be a short video, but I'm guessing as usual, it's probably turned to something bigger than it was supposed to be. Um, but yeah.